As you're preparing your landscape and your fruit orchard for winter, you may want to keep in mind preparing for wildlife damage. There are three pests that might give you problems during the winter. First of these is mice and rabbits and deer. Now mice, one of the best ways of controlling them is during the growing season, keeping all the weeds, all your grass short so that you, so that you don't provide cover for the mice for their tunnels, for their dens, and keep them well away from it. Also, if you're using mulch around your trees, that provides many benefits, but also sometimes can provide a good, safe home for mice. So before you get into the winter, take and look through your mulch, try and find any tunnels, any dens, any nests, and Look for them now. Just because you haven't seen any mouse damage up until now doesn't mean that you don't have mice. During the summer and fall when the living is easy, there's plenty of food, they're not going to bother your trees. It's when you get into winter and they start running out of food, then they'll start nibbling on the bark, causing sometimes extreme damage, especially on apples and pears. If you do find mice, one of your best bets is to start getting rid of them, trap them or put out some poison bait. A good preventative measure to keep them away from the trunks of your trees, especially if you have young apple and pear trees, this is a good idea, put some sort of mouse guard around it. There are plastic spiral mouse guards that you can put on the trees. You don't need to go to that. You can use just galvanized half inch mesh hardware cloth, form it in a, into a cylinder, make certain that it goes down into the ground so the mice can't get underneath it and get to the bark. Leave plenty of room for growth so that you don't have to remove this every year to make it bigger. And definitely don't wrap the trunk with hardware cloth. Now the height, you don't need it this high for mice, but this will serve a dual purpose. If you, if you can keep it 24 inches tall, this will also keep out rabbits, which is one of your other major pests that can cause problems in the winter. Now individual trees, you can Wrap like this. Larger areas, you can fence off with chicken poultry netting on stakes. Rabbits generally don't go underneath fence as long as you can keep it tight to the ground, but larger areas you can use the fence on. Also some repellents. Thyram works well on rabbits. There are a few others that are labeled that work well. The third pest, which can be very damaging, especially in trees, is deer. You can see some leaves that have been nibbled on here. Even worse is the young twig here that's been damaged. Another type of damage, besides feeding damage, is caused by the buck during the fall. And that's he rubs up his antlers against the trees. In this case, in this little pear tree, he's rubbed off the bark completely around the tree. And so the top part's totally disconnected from the roots. We've got two options in trying to save this tree. One of which is to cut it off right down where the lowest portion of the damage is, and then take a, a sprout that comes from that and retrain a tree. Our graft union's well down here, so we can still keep the variety. Another option is to wait for a, a sprout to come out from below, and then graft it, in arch graft it, into the top. This being such a small tree that probably isn't worthwhile, but on a larger tree with more years invested, it definitely would be an option. Now, to prevent deer damage in a home orchard, in our situation, our best bet would be to put up an electric fence all around our garden to exclude the deer entirely. On a smaller scale, less expensive option would be to use some sort of soap, came, cashmere bouquet, any sort of smelly perfumed type of soap, hang one bar in each tree. Now this may sound extremely strange, but it has been shown to be effective. One bar of soap in each tree will keep the deer from browsing on that tree. Another option would be use something like blood meal, take a square of cloth and put a good handful of blood meal in your cloth, either blood meal or tankage, tie it up and hang that in the tree. 
Now this will smell like, basically like death, you know, something that has died, and that again will keep the deer from entering the area. One per tree to get good effective coverage. Now there are repellents that you can use. Thyram is one of the most common ones. There are many other ones that are on the market. These can be used both on fruit trees, on small fruit plants. We've had problems with deer in our blackberries too, so this would be an effective way of, control, of keeping the deer away from it. It can be used in ornamental plantings. One of the biggest disadvantages of repellents is that they need to be reapplied frequently. So you can't just go out in the fall, spray once, and expect the deer to stay away for the rest of the winter. You'll need to re reapply basically after each rain. Expect to be doing it several times during the course of the winter.